Hey everybody, this is Joe Normal. I've got a project here with a Telecaster. It's a Fender made in Mexico. It's not a bad guitar. It actually plays and sounds pretty good. And my project here is I don't like this really glossy finish on here and I'm going to work on trying to buff that down to kind of not relic it, but just get all that shine off and just kind of get it more closer to the wood and less of this sort of like plasticky, shiny thing that I really don't like. Let's see what we can do. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I got the strings off here. I'm going to take all of the hardware off. Uh, all the stuff's going to come off and I'm going to get it down to just the body. I'm actually going to take the neck off too and see what happens. This is the kind of thing that always cracks me up. Is they got it routed for a humbucker. And what do we got here? Why? Why must they do that? <laughs> I've got to disconnect the, the pickup from uh, the pot and the switch here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photograph of the connections there, here and here. So when I go put it back together, I know exactly what to do with my soldering iron. Thank you, girl. Let me see the gloss on that body. I really want to get rid of that. The hardware is off now. We're just going to flip it over and we're going to get the neck. Thank you, girl. So I want to say thank you, girl. What I'm doing is I'm just going to take a photograph of like the dates in here and the different numbers that they got in here. If I want to research, are these matching parts? You know, is this the right neck with this body? What year is this guitar from? I think if you look right there, it actually says a date, July 2007. I don't know if you can see that, but it's in there. Well, you know, I've never done this before, and I've looked online, and I've seen a few different ways that people have gone about this. A couple things that I feel confident about is this extra fine steel wool pads. Over here, sanding blocks, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the back, just uh, as in case, maybe I'll start right in this section. I'm gonna start with, this, with the steel wool and see what I can do with that first. All right, so what I did is I worked on this little section here, trying to stay with the grain. I've done about maybe a minute and a half to two minutes, and it's getting down. It's, it's looking pretty good. I see that if I went in a circular motion, you can see some swirl marks and stuff, but generally, uh, if I keep with the grain, it seems to kind of even things out, and I'm not pressing too hard. I'm going a little light. Uh, and maybe when I hit a little bit of the, the crease here, I'm going to press a little bit hard, harder and maybe change the direction that I'm going in a little bit and then come back to my uh, left to right following the grain of the guitar. And uh, so far, I'm pretty pleased with what this is doing. And for about five minutes so far, and you can already see, I've made quite a bit of progress. Uh, and this is all by hand using the steel wool, the extra fine. And you can see there where the shine of the finish is and over here it's gone it's really looking the way i was hoping it's gonna look I'd probably add that while i'm doing this i'm wearing face protection so i'm not breathing in this dust i mean i'm just wearing a bandana over my face but there's definitely some dust kicking up from this i don't know if you can see that definitely stuff is kicking up and you don't want to be breathing that so if you got a proper face mask or bandana or something you definitely want to be wearing that when you're doing this this is about 40 minutes of light sanding with the steel wool. Left a little bit of that there, which I can work out in more detail, but you can see how the whole body on the back here has a nice matte finish. You can still see the grain really nice. On to the sides and the front. Here's a reminder of what the shine looked like before. We're going to do the same on the front. Yeah, you can't hear it, but I'm uh, listening to Bruce Springsteen. If you haven't guessed by now while I'm working on this guitar, I guess that's the inspiration, huh? So I've got the front and the back all done. I haven't done the sides. I saved that for last. I have a feeling that's going to be the most challenging as far as getting a nice smooth turn through those corners and stuff. And uh, do a little test piece on the edge there. On the sides of the guitar, the direction I'm going is actually the direction the curve of the guitar. I'm just going around this way. Trying not to get too hard on those edges. I don't want to like take too much off the edges. I just want to get the shine off. I don't want to take it down to the wood. So that's how we're doing that. The whole body sanded. I got it just the way I wanted it. All the shine is gone. And uh, 
what happened here is I look at my neck next to the, the body and it just looks light. I don't like the way that looks. So a simple remedy, I got myself a little golden marker and I take a little piece of the steel wool and I rub it in between the frets and I just color in with the marker and I get a, a little better of a match here. You can kind of see on the end there how dark it can get. I don't really want that. I'm going to just kind of wipe that out. But it is a waterproof marker. I can take this on and off. I can make it as thick as I want or as thin as I want. It just helps it to look a little closer to that golden color of the body. I don't know. You can call it like a cheap relic job or whatever. I don't care. I just wanted to shine off my guitar. If I do this, I just kind of scribble it on like that. And then I'm going to take my finger because it's a water-based marker. I'm just going to rub it out with my finger. A little bit will get into the wood where I sanded it and it'll just kind of golden up the tone of the wood a little bit. And when I'm done with that, I'll just Just a little touch, that's all it is. Here's without, here's with. Just a little bit better than that stark white. Baby back together. Well, here I got the pick guard going back on, and uh, what I noticed was that uh, it was a little on the shiny side. <laughs> so I took a little uh, bit of scratching to it, with, uh, a little bit of this, and uh, kind of got a nice little bit of uh, worn-in kind of look. I like just imagine, you know, how would I strum this guitar for the rest of my life? And I just went for it, and it looks a little bit better against this than that this all shiny black and I think once I get the strings on it's going to make sense. It is back in place. I made sure that I did the outside two screws first and put these guys back in there. All nice and neat. So I'm about to put the uh, volume and tone back in and the, uh, the jack here and now it's got one of these kind of things that sits in there like that and the problem with that is that when I'm using one of these to plug in, it doesn't sit right in there and the, the cord won't make contact correctly. So I decided I'm going to change that out and I'm going to put one of these. And I don't care about mounting it on the outside of the body and putting the screws in there. That's fine with me. I just want to be able to plug in on stage and not worry about using a straight cable and uh, busting the whole thing out. I think it's going to work better for me if I have this and my angle cable on stage. Looks like I'm gonna have to pull that metal thing out of there in order for the jack to come up and make contact with this kind of like see Got this thing to come out was got a pair of pliers with a rubber handle and, and I just put the rubber end in there and I just pushed down instead of like putting something metal around the edge and trying to pry it out and then fucking up the edge of your guitar. What I did is I had that there and I took a marker and I just kind of marked uh, spots for my pilot holes. I'm uh, mounted on the guitar. I just got to go ahead and, and put the jack through and wire it up. Done deal. So I got that input jack done. There, that's all done. Here we go. And I won't, uh, I didn't want to show you my soldering job because I suck at soldering, <laughs> but I got it on there. I'm using this like old school thing. This thing is probably about 30 years old. I don't know where it came from, but uh, it's on there. I'm just going to put my pieces back together here. String it up. What was that? Somebody's curious. What's going on here? There it is. See the finish. Um, when you look over here, you can see how the finish is nice and flat, matte. A little bit of shine left on the pick guard, more in the center. Looks like kind of a little wear and tear on the sides of it from when I just pull the strumming. Um, a little intonation and everything, and I got a nice new guitar looking the way I want it to. You can see the neck kind of matches much better now. All I did was use this marker here. Crayola super tips, kind of like a golden yellow. It's great, perfect. She's my baby.